and some people out there enjoying uh, Rice Lake on this beautiful yeah. evening. We yeah. want to go back to the lake in Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Uh, that's where Jason Drush and Kim Johnson made the trip to this morning. And it is, you know, it's cloudy down here, you guys. It's so sunny and beautiful where you're at. Oh, well, we lucked out, Frank, because it was cloudy when we rolled in, but I think we were the good luck charms because now the clouds have parted, a blue sky. We're here at Veterans City Park, just a beautiful backdrop with Rice Lake right behind us. Over to my left here, they have a band shell where they have live music in the park every Tuesday night. You know, this community really does embrace the arts, Jason. No question. Many small towns throughout our area do that. Rice Lake, no exception. But there are three community theaters here. The longest running is the beautiful Red Barn Theater just on the edge of town. Asbury Park Station. Let me speak to him. It's showtime on a hot summer night in Northwest Wisconsin. We're very proud of our theater and our actors and everyone who is involved. Inside the Red Barn Theater, Wait Until Dark is being performed by the Hard Scrabble Players. It's a group of regular folks from nearby town. They are perhaps your local doctor, your local pharmacist, farmers, homemakers, all walks of life, all ages are out here. Connie Olson's been on stage and volunteers at the Red Barn. Tonight she's here as a fan, one of many who have been impressed by shows here for 55 years. I think our audiences recognize that this is darn good entertainment for Northwest Wisconsin, oftentimes better than what you're going to see on TV. One of Sergeant Carlito. Back in the freezer. A professional actress moved here from Chicago in the 1960s. She missed the theater of the big city, got some locals interested, and bought the barn in 1967. Her vision has allowed amateur actors to shine in the spotlight. The allure of applause is always a plus. And it's delighted countless visitors to the Rice Lake area. They can expect to be entertained, and every dollar that they spend, they will walk away saying, oh, that was worth the money. And they're not spending a lot of dollars, I'll tell you that much. It's about $16 a ticket to go see a show at the Red Barn. Not bad, not bad. And they do have shows for most of the summer, except for on Sundays. We do have a link to an upcoming schedule at WCCO.com if you want to check it out. And you saw in the story, they pack them in, guys. It's hot in there. It's a little hot in there, but, you that's know. That's part that, of the fun. It's part of the charm, no well, doubt. Well, that's impressive. I mean, they pack yes. that one in, and they have two other theaters and a community that size. I mean, you can tell they do care about it, so that is, uh, that's really nice to see. Thank you. It's pretty cool. We talked to a couple kids today who toured us around the lake, and they, they got to be in those plays, and it means a lot to everybody. Part here. of the community. I bet. Yeah. I bet. All right. Nice to see you guys. Thanks a million.